Okay, uh, we're going to do a quick lesson here on research and development costs. In general, uh, research and development costs you're going to expense unless it has use um, in other items. Okay, and also if it has to do with something that can actually be capitalized. But in general, research and development costs are expense. So we have the best and Craig Company occurred the following research and development costs during 2011. Uh, salaries and wages for the lab research, 350000 Materials used in R&D projects, 400000 Equipment, 85000 Fees paid to outsiders for R&D projects performed by the outsiders for, for Best and Craig, so basically contract labor, 465000 Patent filing and legal costs for a developed product, 20000 In process research and development, Related to the acquisition of Radon Inc. of a million two, so we have a total of two million five hundred twenty thousand that can be would be classified as research and development costs. Now the question, um, well, let's finish the example here. The equipment has a three-year life and no value beyond the current research project, which with with which it is re, uh, acquired. Okay, with that being known, let's take a look at this and see which one of these would we actually have research and development expense on in our income statement as a line item there. So we've got salaries and wages for lab research, 350000 Yes, that will be an expense. We're going to expense that into research and development costs. Our materials used in research and development costs for 400000 Yes, we will keep that. Okay, here's the interesting one. Purchase of equipment, 85000 The key here is that the equipment has no value beyond the current research project for which it was acquired since it does not have value for other uses of R&D then we will expense that 85,000 so the 85,000 will be expensed our fees paid to outsiders for R&D projects performed that's going to be really you know, contract labor and it's pretty much going to be like salary so that 465,000 stays next our patent filing for legal costs for a developed product those costs our patent filing and legal cost cap are going to be capitalized into the cost of the patent. So those costs will not be expenses R&D. They will be capitalized as part of the uh, patent itself. And then finally, we have the in-research, in-process re research and development related to the acquisition of radon. Uh, if, if we have in-process and uh, research development costs, they're going to get shown on a separate line on our income statement if they're material and a million two is pretty material on this so we may we would probably put those costs as a separate line item so generally our regular research and development expenses for this example are going to be a million three and just a couple other notes on research and development Again, generally, most R&D costs are going to be expensed in the periods that they're incurred, basically because they, there's such a high degree of, uh, of uncertainty on the future benefits of uh, those research and development costs, which products work, which don't, and how you would allocate those that the FASB has decided to just go ahead and expense those items. Um, also, research and development cost expenses do include depreciation and amortization of assets used in research and development activities okay, if they have a use in other items so in our example the equipment did not have a use other than the current project so it's expense but if it does have benefit over various research projects then we would we would then allocate those expenses over a period of years through which they were getting the benefit um, again filing legal costs for patents copyrights that kind of stuff are capitalized and they're going to amortize those in future years. Um, any costs in general that are incurred before the start of a commercial uh, production are going to be expenses R&D. After commercial production then they just become expense like any other inventory item or cost of goods sold etc. The main uh, thing on GAAP is GAAP requires you to disclose uh, the total of research and development expense occurred during the period. Okay, so you have to either as a line item on your income statement or in a disclosure note. So again, materiality will help you determine 
that amount. Um, startup costs are always expensed in the period incurred. And an interesting little change on software is that GAP requires the capitalization of software development costs incurred after technological feasibility is established. So once you can determine that it's going to work and it's going to be a product that can be sold, anything from that point on would be um, capitalized. So that is kind of a little quirk in the research and you can check the, the uh, pronouncements or your book for that. Hope this helps.